Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we're going to be painting the Legionnaires from the Old Dominion Army in Conquest, The Last Argument of Kings. If you're anything like me, you're going to be painting a lot of these, as they are the main infantry for the army. So let's go ahead and dive into how I painted mine. To get this model ready for painting, I've primed it using Ultra Matte Black Paint Plus Primer from rust -Oleum. but you could use any black primer that you want. We're going to start this project off by painting Mechanicus Standard Gray on all of the exposed flesh on the model. Now we are going for an old, dried out, mummified flesh tone, and gray makes an excellent base for this technique. With that base coat in place, we're going to take Reichland flesh in, and we're going to do a heavy wash of this over all of the exposed flesh. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Dawnstone, and we're going to use this to highlight all the raised ridges and curves of the muscles on the model. Next, we're going to use Karak Stone, and we're going to do an additional bit of highlighting on the skin, but we're only putting this in select spots. The idea here is that this is the original color tone of the skin, and it's only showing up in spots that are less rotten than the rest of the flesh. Now that we're done with the skin, we're going to begin working on the armor of the model, and I've chosen to use Lead Belcher to give the appearance of iron armor, but if you wanted, you could also paint this with a copper or a bronze color, because Legionnaires were also known to have their armor made out of those metals. Once we have our metal color in place, we're going to shade it using Nuln Oil. Now, I actually prefer using Agrax Earthshade, but I was out of that at the time that I painted this model, and both colors work just fine. Our next step is a little bit interesting. We're going to take a mixture of Contrast Griffhound Orange, as well as Brown and Black Game Inks from Vallejo. We're going to mix these together and create a glaze. We're then going to do three to four layers of this glaze in all the spots where we want the metal to appear rusted. Once we're happy with that glaze, we're going to take Troll Slayer Orange and we're going to paint this in all the spots that the rust would be the most concentrated in. And we're doing a mixture of dry brushing and stippling where there's more paint than you would use for dry brushing on your brush, but less than you would use for stippling. With the armor all finished, we're going to begin working on the clothing that the Legionnaire is wearing, and we're going to start with all the padded armor that is underneath his plate armor. And we're going to use Abaddon Black as the base color for these parts. Our next step is to take Corn Red, and we're going to use this to edge highlight all of the black padded armor. With that all done, we're going to take Mephiston Red and we're going to use this to paint the tabard that's on the waist of the model, as well as any plumes that appear on the helmets of the Legionnaires. We're going to shade the tabards and plumes using Carabird Crimson. You can go as heavy as you'd like with this, it won't affect the end outcome too much. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Evil Sun Scarlet and we're going to layer this over all of the raised surfaces and the edges of the plume and tabard on the model. Next we're going to take Wild Rider Red and we're going to use this to highlight the edges of the plume and tabard on the model. With that all done, we're going to take Rhinox Hide, and we're going to use this to paint all of the leather straps on the model, as well as the haft of his spear. We're going to shade all of the brown parts of the model using Nuln Oil, and once again, I would have preferred to use Agrax Earthshade, but I didn't have it on hand. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Mornfang Brown and we're going to use this to highlight the edges of all the leather straps. Our next step is to take Wraith Bone and we're going to use this to highlight any exposed bones that are on the model. We're also going to put a small dot of this in each eye socket. Our last step in this project is to take Hex Wraith Flame, and we're going to put a dot of this in each eye socket, and this is going to give a green glowing eyes appearance to the model. 
And with that, we finished painting our Legionnaires. Thank you so much for watching this video today, I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead and like it, and then subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos and other content that I make. I'd like to give a special shout out to all my channel members that make videos like this possible. If you would like to become a channel member, hit the join button below this video. As always, have an amazing day, and we'll catch you in the next one.